Hi, Amy Bowman with Plants for Human Health Institute. I hope you are excited to get your kale kits and I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how we're gonna go ahead and plant those seeds. So you should have an eight inch pot, a bag of soil, your planting directions, and a small bag of seeds. So we're gonna go ahead and remove our seeds right now. And our first step is we are going to empty the full contents of the soil bag into our pot. I've put mine on a paper plate just to help alleviate some mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my bag and put the entire contents of my bag into the pot. Spread it out here a little bit. And now I need to water it in. If you feel the soil, it's fairly dry and that's not really good for our plants. Our seeds are going to need some moisture so they can germinate. So I have a pitcher of water and I'm just going to water all around here a little bit and give it a little time to sink in. We wanna make sure all of our soil is nice and moist. And if you want to, you can go ahead and get in there, mix it up a little bit. So that way I can feel and make sure that my soil throughout is nice and moist. Add a little bit more. Um, and another reason to have this on a paper plate is if you'll see, though this pot has holes at the bottom and that's dripping out. So this helps to catch all that excess moisture. It also helps if you have a paper towel to wipe your hands off. All right, now that I have my soil nice and moist, I'm gonna smooth it out just a little bit and then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm gonna use the eraser in. This helps keep me from going too deep. It's really tempting to plant those seeds deep, but they won't germinate if I do that. So I'm gonna make three holes in the center of this pot with my pencil eraser. One, two, three. And that gives me a place to put my seeds. Now you should have at least three seeds in here and that's all we're gonna plant are three seeds. So I'm gonna open up my bag and I'm going to carefully pour my seeds out onto my direction. So that way I have them and I can see them. And then I'm gonna take one seed at a time and place it in each hole. One seed in each hole, just like that. And then gently smooth it over just to cover it up. Now, that hole has a lot of air still in there and we wanna make sure our seed comes into contact with that moist soil. So we're going to water it in again and I'm gonna use no more than a fourth of a cup right in that area so that we know that the seeds come in contact with moisture. And now you're ready to start growing. You're gonna to wanna to put it in a sunny window and in probably five to seven days, you should see some some seedlings coming up in there. Well, I'm checking in on my kale today. It's been about a week since I planted the seeds. If you remember, we planted three seeds and I now have three seedlings coming up. They all look nice and healthy. They're about an inch tall. Now, it looks like we've got lots of room in this pot, plenty for all three. However, once these get a little bit bigger, then there's not gonna be enough space in this pot to really accommodate all three. So today, I'm gonna to have to make a tough choice. I am going to have to choose which one to keep. So I think I have identified this one right here is the tallest, it looks the best, so I'm going to be keeping it. This is a process called thinning. We are going to remove the other two so that we make sure that there's sufficient nutrients and plenty room for the one plant we choose to survive. So I've got a couple of different options to do. The first one, since they're not so close together, I'm not really worried about the roots of this one being in with the roots of this one. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna gently pull it out. And there, now that's one way. If yours are kind of close together and you're worried that if you pull one out, you'll pull the other, then another option is to just go in with a pair of scissors and clip it right off and remove it that way. And now I'm left with one kale seedling and this guy should have 
plenty of room in this pot now so that it can grow to full maturity and have all the nutrients that it needs. So you may have to make that decision yourself and make sure that you go ahead at, at about a week, between a week and two weeks, and thin your plants to one plant.